trying to capture some of my little baby plecos. They do not like being caught, but I've had this here net in the tank now with food in front of it for several, maybe half an hour. I'm just going to try to capture at least one. But they're wily. They know the blue net comes in and then they lose brothers and sisters. Captured. Alright, the tricky part is, is uh, I really only want the long fin ones right now. And of course there's a short fin in here as well. I'm gonna have to separate them out. Look at that. Look at how well you can see in there, that duckweed. Let's see, back of my hand. Back of my hand again. So you can see I am a little pale. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like goobers right now. Let me look at my own eyeballs. Okay. So if I can get this on camera and not get anybody motion sickness. I don't know if anybody's ever gonna see this, but there you go. Flip one up. Still got the long fin in there. And then Very terrible video. Boop. Good to go. We've got a few <laughs> hanging out there. You can see that end there in the background? Yep. That's it. That's where they've been sitting for a while. That is food and mystery snail babies right there. A very large quantity of mystery snail babies. But, just in case you are curious, there is not currently any mystery snail egg clutches. Which I think means that my mystery snails are getting old. They are quite large. They are about two inches across. This is the other one. They don't seem to have grown a lot in a while. And honestly, that's fine. I've only actually let one clutch grow out. The rest of them I've been pulling. Anyway, that's all. <laughs>